Life Kids, we are so excited that you have joined us for another month of online services. The whole month of May, we are going on an adventure. We're going to explore the book of Acts and the early church. You're going to hear a lot of stories that sound too crazy to be true, but guess what? Every one of them is a true story. So join us as we go through the book of Acts and explore God's word. But for right now, Everybody stand up and let's do some praise and worship. I close my eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny your heart for mine. And it's unrelenting chase. I was on the edge of deception. Caught up in my own hesitation. Until your love took over me So I let go And I let love Show me life like it's supposed to be On the way to 
enjoyed that worship? I love to worship the Lord. We're going to play a real quick little game. So if you want to take a minute to stop the video, grab a book, a piece of paper and a pen or a marker so you can play along and I'm going to get my helpers up here to help me. All right, so today I have Jake and I have Sarah and they're going to play along with us. We're going to play a little game where you have to put the book and the paper on top of your head and I'm going to tell you something to draw and you have to draw it on your head. So go ahead and put it on your head. You put your book on your head, okay? All right, y'all ready? Okay, so the first thing I want you to draw, and you're going to use the same sheet of paper, so don't, don't change out your paper. I want you to draw a sun. Can you draw a sun? You can't look. You got to do it without looking. Draw a sun. Okay, now I want you to draw a tree. So go ahead, guys, draw a tree. Now we're going to draw a cloud. Can you draw a cloud? I'm excited. I can't wait to see. What about a snake? Go ahead and draw a snake while you're there. I feel confident. You feel confident? Yeah. I definitely won. You think? Okay. Last thing, I want you to draw a flower. Draw a flower. It's a little harder than you think, isn't it, when you can't see what you're drawing. All right, let's see how they did. All right, Jake, let's see yours. You have to show the camera. Oh, that so, let, let me, let me is explain. just beautiful. There's the cloud. Yeah, okay. Uh, snake just ate the flower and then didn't lock it, so it's still there. Okay. And I think that's the sun. That looks like the sun. And this, oh, it's your tree. Yeah, there's the tree. It the must be in a hurricane. The tree is in a hurricane. That's right. Good job, Jake. All right, Sarah, let's see yours. I definitely did better than him. Oh my God. So, wow. That's my sunshine. Yeah. That's my tree. And then that's my cloud. That was supposed to be the snake. And I drew the flower upside down. But there's the flower. Wow. They did pretty good. How about your picture? What does it look like? Did you do good? Well, we drew these things today because we're going to talk. These things are things you might see when you're outside on a hike. And today we're going to talk about a man named Saul who was kind of on a hike on his way to, to Damascus. But before we get into the full story, I want you to watch this video real quick. Thank you guys for helping me. Watch the video, we'll be right back. Hello explorers. This month, we're talking about adventures and exploring. How many of you like to go on adventures? One thing I love to do is hiking and trekking. I pack my backpack, my tent, my walking stick, and I set off on an adventure through the mountains and forests. Let's all pull out our pretend binoculars and hold them up to our eyes so we can see what's ahead. I see a man from the Bible walking down a road far away. His name is Saul. Let's learn a true story about him. Saul was not a nice man. He did things to hurt God's people. He was traveling along the road on his way to a place called Damascus, when suddenly a bright light from heaven shone on him. He fell to the ground. He heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you hurting me? Saul didn't know what was going on. He asked, who are you? Then he heard a voice say, I am Jesus, who you're hurting. He was confused. Then he heard the voice say, Get up and go into the city and you'll be told what to do. Everyone with Saul was shocked. They all heard the voice, but they didn't see anyone. Saul got up and opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. Saul's friend took him by the hand and led him into Damascus. He was blind for three days. While he was in Damascus, he had a vision of a man named Ananias coming to him and touching his eyes and healing him. But where could he find this man named Ananias? Ananias was in his house when he heard the voice of Jesus say, Ananias, go to a house on Straight Street and find a man from Tarsus named Saul. He'll be there praying. Ananias knew who Jesus was talking about. Saul hated God's people. There was no way he wanted to go find him. He told Jesus he didn't want to go, but Jesus told him it was okay because Saul was going to tell everyone about Jesus from now on. So Ananias did as Jesus told him. He went to the house, found Saul, put his hands over Saul's eyes, and told him Jesus sent him to help him see again. When he touched Saul's eyes, he could see again. Saul was so excited to be able to see again. But more than just his sight was healed, his heart was healed. He got a new name, Paul. He loved Jesus and loved God's people. He was baptized, and from then on, he taught people about Jesus wherever he went. Everyone was astonished at how he was changed. 
Jesus changed Saul's life, and Jesus can change our lives too. Oh, hey, Life Kids. Didn't see you there. Now it's time to go over our Bible verse of the month. So, I'm gonna, y'all know the drill. I'm going to read it this first time. Then we're all going to say it together in just a second. Christ died for everyone. He died so that those who live should not live for themselves anymore. They should live for Christ. 2 Corinthians 5, 15. All right, so now I'm going to say it this time. I need you to say it really loud, okay? Christ died for everyone. Christ died for everyone. He died so that those... He died so that those... Who live should not live... Who live should not live... For themselves anymore. For themselves anymore. They should live for Christ. They should live for Christ. 2 Corinthians... 2 Corinthians... 5... 5... Dot, dot... Dot, dot... 15... All right, this time I need you to stand up where you are and scream it as loud as you can. Parents, I'm sorry in advance. All right, here we go. Christ died for everyone. Christ died for everyone. He died so that those. He died so that those. Who live should not live. Who live should not live. For themselves anymore. For themselves anymore. They should live for Christ. 2 Corinthians, Second Corinthians 5, 5 dot, 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 15. 15. Awesome job. I am so proud of you. I can hear you from here. So now we're going to enter into a time of slow worship. So I want you to find a place in your house you can stand, move around a little bit, and we're going to worship God.
right, Life Kids. I hope you really enjoyed that worship song. I love to worship Jesus. This month, we're talking about true stories. We're talking about stories that sound so crazy, they can't be true, but they are. We're gonna explore the book of Acts, and our first story comes from Acts chapter nine. We're gonna uh, learn about a man named Saul. And Saul, wow, he was not a very good person. As a matter of fact, if you wanna take a minute and read Acts chapter nine with your parents, you can pause this video and then come back. In Acts chapter nine, we see that Saul, he was really mean to Christians, to the early church. He didn't like them at all. As a matter of fact, he was killing them. He was on his way to Damascus. He had papers he was taking to the churches there to arrest the Christians and bring them back to Jerusalem. He was a bad man, right? But on the way there, on his hike to Jerusalem, guess what happened? All of a sudden, there was a light from heaven and Jesus said with a loud voice, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He fell to the ground. He lost his sight. He didn't know who it was. And Jesus told him to go to Jerusalem and wait. And a man named Ananias would come and find him and would tell him what to do next. You know what? All that happened. That sounds unbelievable that you could be walking outside and hear a loud voice from heaven and go blind for three days. But it's a true story. It really happened to Saul. God had a plan for Saul's life. God wanted to change Saul, just like he wants to change you and I. You see, Saul, he had a lot of sin in his life. He was doing some pretty bad things. But God came in his life and God changed him. And God wants to change us too. He wants to take all the sin out of our lives and change us so that we can live for him. I have something to show you today to kind of illustrate my point. So we have in this uh, jug, we have some water and we have in this little plastic container here, some ice. I'm gonna pull it out for you. Oh, it's kind of stuck. All right, so ice and water are the same thing. Uh, Saul didn't really change. God did change his name to Paul, but did his appearance change? No, he didn't. I mean, he still looked like the same person, but what changed was what was on the inside. So we have ice and we have water. They're both the same thing, but in two separate forms. You see, Saul, when he was persecuting Christians, his heart was hard, kind of like ice. It was like a rock. He didn't have any love for people or God's people. But when God came into his life, he changed him. He changed him into something different. His appearance didn't change on the outside, but on the inside, he was changed. He was a new person. And that's what God does for us. He comes in, he takes out all the hardness inside of us, all the yuckiness of sin, and he makes us into something new. He makes us into something kind of like water where he can, we're fluid and he can use us where he needs to use us and use us for his glory. And that's exactly what he did with Saul. Like I said before, he changed his name to Paul and Paul became one of the most unbelievable missionaries in the Bible. I mean, he traveled everywhere and told everyone about Jesus and had some incredible stories that happened to him. Stories that almost sound unbelievable, but they're true stories. But this today, just for today, I want us to remember, remember our bottom line. Our bottom line is this, that Jesus changes lives. And just like Jesus changed the life of Saul from a hard criminal, really, who was killing people and changed him into someone he could use for his glory, God wants to do the same for us. God changes lives. Jesus changes lives and he wants to change your life today. Maybe you want to take a little time to just get alone for a few minutes and pray today and ask God to change you, to ask God to get all the sin out of your life and help you become a person he can use for his glory. I'm excited about learning all month with you these stories that sound unbelievable, but they're true. Get your Bible out and go on this journey with us. We'll see you next week. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram all throughout the week, there'll be different things posted, different activities, and make sure you watch for the Wednesday review. Bye, hope you Bye. have a great week, we love you.